Hi, Coach, and welcome to this new episode on how to excel at fruit plants with no deprivation whatsoever. So, how to excel at fruit plants with no deprivation. Here are the benefits of excelling, mastering your food plan with no sense of deprivation. First of all, well, it's so much easier to follow a food plan, isn't it? And then we get to choose thoughts that make us feel amazing so that we don't feel deprived, right? So much better to feel, de <laughs> to feel amazing than to feel deprived. And also then as a bonus, we realize how powerful we are as we reach our health and body goals. So all this is available and I'm going to exp explain to you how. But first of all, who am I? Well, here's who I am. My name is Nadej Cezana and I go by Nan. I'm a certified life and weight loss coach, also called the cravings coach, because I used to be a binge eater for 30 years. I snacked and binged on food and it's no longer the case. Now I help coaches really eat what they said they would eat so that they feel better and stronger than ever. So here's a situation. Some... Um, Recently, uh, I coached a client who was who had a food plan. She had this food plan especially because she wanted to reach her health and body goal and build her best body ever. That was the plan. But then when she was thinking of the plan, she was telling herself, I can't eat whatever I want. And because she was believing that thought, she was feeling restricted. It makes perfect sense, isn't it? She's not alone <laughs> to feel this way because she's thinking and believing that thought. And what what happened was that when she was feeling restrictive, she didn't weigh her food. She didn't count for BLTs, you know, bites, likes, <laughs> licks, and tastes. But in her head, she was complaining, or maybe she was complaining out loud about the food plan. She was blaming the coach who had given her the food plan. She was judging the food plan, basically. And she was completely forgetting her health and body goals. Why the food plan was actually a tool for her to reach her health and body goals. And when she was behaving this way, when she was doing or not doing all of this, as a result, she was actually preventing herself from building the body she wanted, right? So once she realized that, we explored a little bit more. So here's what it was, right? Here's, here are all the steps that was, were, going through, were going on for her because of the thought she was having about the food plan, right? So all of this, was creating this result, preventing herself from building the body she wants. Let me explain to you a little bit more in detail. So this thought really, I can't eat whatever I want. If we really, you know, if we sum it up, this is the thought that created this result of preventing herself from building the body I, she wanted, right? Because all circumstances, the food plan in that case, can't make us feel any emotion. The food plan couldn't, can't, will not be able to make her feel restricted or any other emotion, by the way. But it's only because she was choosing to think, I can't eat whatever I want, that she was feeling restricted. That's the nuance there. Our thoughts create our emotions. So that was what was happening. <laughs> That's what was happening there, right? I can't eat whatever I want was making her feel restricted. And it makes so much sense. And as uh, all circumstances can't drive all actions. That means that the food plan, whatever the food plan is, cannot make you eat or not eat what's on the food plan, right? But if she was not weighing her food, if she was not counting BLTs, if she was complaining about the food plan, if she was judging it and not following it, it was not because of the food plan. It doesn't make any sense, right? The food plan is meant to be followed. But she was not following it. She was complaining about it because she was choosing to think, I can't eat whatever I want. Right? So our thoughts drive our actions. I can't eat whatever I want is actually what was preventing her from following the food plan, eating what she said she would eat, eating what was on the food plan. So all circumstances can't produce our results either. Right? It's not the food plan that prevented herself from building the body she wanted. It doesn't make any sense either, right? The food plan was meant for her to create the body and the health goal that she wanted. So it doesn't make sense to think that the food plan was actually preventing her from reaching that goal. But when we think, when we know that our thoughts produce our results, then it makes perfect sense that because she was thinking, I can't eat whatever I want, she was preventing herself from building the body she wanted, right? So 
let's see what else she could have thought about this very same food plan. We're not changing the food plan. We think we're changing the way we think about it. And here, what we came up with together during our coaching session, she decided to think, oh, this is part of the plan. And when she was thinking of the food plan, and she was thinking this is part of the plan, she was feeling free. And what did she do when she was feeling free? When she was feeling free, notice how different her behavior was. She was budgeting for what she really wanted to eat too, like cookie dough. She was actually weighing the cookie dough. She was making, making sure she was hitting the macros because she was focusing on macros. She was not questioning the macros or her coach's wisdom. She didn't have BLTs she, or if she did, she was counting them and she kept seeing the bigger picture and thinking of all the reasons why she wanted to reach her health and body goals. So she was not just focused on the food plan, she was really seeing the bigger picture and making sure that she was following the, the, the food plan, all because she was feeling free, right? And what happened when she decided to feel free and to follow the food plan? Well, of course, as uh, an effect, she successfully was building the body she wanted. All of this is because she was choosing to believe this is part of the plan. Instead of you know, complaining about the food plan, she was choosing to think that this was actually good for her. So this is part of the plan is the thought that created that result for her, successfully building the body she wanted, right? So this is so powerful, isn't it? Because we can change the way we think about the food plan, and this is going to have such a bigger and more you know, powerful, better impact on our health and our body goals or fitness goals, if that's what you want, right? And if you want help customizing to your specific needs and your particular food plan so that you reach your unique goals, maybe it's to reduce medication, maybe it's to be more energetic, maybe it's to lose weight, then I've got this special offer for you. You can apply to the program, the program that I created, the coaching program called Conquer Your Food Cravings for Good, right? And if you do so, then you can benefit from what's inside this coaching program, which is, it is the only one-to-one -one online coaching program for coaches who want to finally follow their food plans with no force, with no willpower, but also with no deprivation, right? So that then it's so much easier to reach your health and body goals, right? What you do want. And really, I want you to picture the scene. Imagine stopping going from one extreme, obsessing about the food plan and really sticking it to the T and really being harsh on yourself when you don't, to the other extreme, which is completely ignoring the food plan, pretending that, no, 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 it's all fine, doesn't matter anyway, and binging on all your favorite foods. So imagine no longer going back and forth between those two extremes. Imagine also not feeling bad in your body, because we know that when we overeat, we feel heavy, we feel bloated, we feel sluggish. Imagine also not having those terrible judgments about yourself, like the ones that, that are creating the shame, the regret, the guilt, right? When you think that you ate off plan because you had extra food, either in terms of quality, foods that were not planned, or in terms of quantity, you had much more than was on the plan. Imagine also no longer hiding from your clients out of fear they might find out the ugly truth about you, out of fear that they might know, that they might realize that you actually don't follow your food plan. Imagine that. Imagine no longer fearing, dreading that, and no longer hiding. But instead, imagine knowing deep down in your bones, without the shadow of a doubt, of a doubt that you'll be back on track, whether you have an extra bite or several or um, um, an extra meal or several meals because it's the holidays. But imagine that you go back on track, not next Monday, not next month, not when it's special, not when it's your birthday or something like this, but immediately after you've decided to go back on track. I feel it's so empowered than ever when you do that. Imagine really feeling so good in your body. Imagine feeling that light, that energized, because you're eating what's right for you. That's what's under your food plan. You're actually executing, you're sticking to the food plan, and you get the rewards of this amazing energy, maybe the weight loss, maybe the muscle building, whatever your food plan is about. Imagine feeling invincible, in unstoppable. Imagine, too, feeling so proud of what you've accomplished that you can't wait to show off on your social media, maybe. 
you know, those full length picture where you show off your body, you show off your cute new clothes, you really are a product of your product, right? Really show yourself as you are. So imagine also being more present, being more present in your coaching sessions because you don't have this chatter about food going on in your mind. So if you're more present, we can imagine, we can guess <laughs> without much doubt that of course your coaching will be better and will be more so much more beneficial to your clients. It means that you're going to be so confident that as a result, you're going to magnetize, attract your new clients because you do know, you do feel, you are completely convinced that you are the product of your product, that the coaching tools, your coaching tools do work. So you show up in your marketing with this certain energy and it shows. And then, of course, you attract more people. So you renew your current clients and you, of course they send you referrals and of course as a result the bonus is that you make more money <laughs> so here are these two steps that the conquer your food cravings for, for good program is about first building the self-trust that you can follow your food plan it is possible for you it is no i'm no unicorn right if i follow my food plan even though, though i used to be a binge eater and not be able to do that at all for 30 years. I'm no unicorn, I'm no special snowflake. You can do it too, and I've got a special recipe, the, the exact recipe of what to do that's available to you. Also, you can, the second step is to understand when you do want extra food, why, why is that? So there's something for you to learn there, to learn about you, to learn about your behavior, right? And once we understand, it's so much easier to decrease that desire because it is possible to decrease the desire we have, right? It is. 100% doable, learnable, a learnable skill. And then when we know how to decrease, you know, this desire for the food, it's so much easier to decline the food so easily. So here are the features of this coaching, for, <laughs> coaching program called Conquer Your Food Cravings for Good. It lasts three months. And within those three months, you have 12, 30 minute private coaching calls online. And between the sessions, in case you need that, there's unlimited written uh, or audio coaching, whatever you prefer, in between sessions, Monday through Friday. And so your next step is really to book your free Crave Control Consultation Call. It's complimentary, right? And why we are going to do that is that first, you're going to find out what's really stopping you from eating what you said you would eat and getting the result, which is being in the best possible health. And it's probably not what you think, right? Very often people are surprised. Say, oh, I thought I had no willpower. I thought I was lazy. I thought that something was wrong with me. Mm -mm, not the right, not the case. And the second step, when you book your free Crave Control Consultation call, we create a clear blueprint customized to your needs because you're unique to reach your health and body goals no matter what, because we know there will be challenges, of course, or otherwise you would have reached your goal already, right? But whatever the challenge is, you are going to be able to reach your body, your health, your fitness goals. And so, of course, I'll answer all the questions you have about working with me. And it's my pleasure to offer you this free consult call for you. All you need to do is simply scan this QR code, or if you look below this video, you're going to find the address, the link to click to book your free control, Crave Control Consultation call. And I want to thank you for your trust. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to say, see you soon. Take care. Bye.